Morning, where are you getting? Don't know, smash and grab, mate. <laughs> it's gonna be like, just go, and then this right across been, the desert. We, we, we go to bed starving and we wake up starving. <laughs> I'm just getting a drink, man, don't look at me. You getting a drink? Yeah, yeah he's got his doggy box. Night. How many Ks have we got right today? 260. Oh. We need to stop doing, we need to start riding at 200 watts, like we said we were gonna do, rather than riding at 350 watts. Which is what we have been every doing. Little time. <laughs> Good morning and welcome to today's video. Welcome back to California. Today, like 260 k's, 2,000 meters of climbing. Shouldn't be as long as yesterday, but I don't know. Anything could happen. <laughs> this is like the saddest sight ever. <laughs> Leftover last night's diner food. It's free. I don't taste good. But you paid for it. What? You no, it's free it. because now I don't have to buy another meal. to an army base and they turned us around but they said we could go on the freeway so we're not taking the main 15 all the way to Baker but we're going east on a road that we should be allowed to ride on and then uh, heading north so the ride is long but not quite as long as it was going to be. All right, first quick stop because we're eating for uh, breakfast is a crappy breakfast burger thing. You want anything dude? No man, well are you getting a coat on you? Mm, I don't know. I might wait till the next stop. Well, that was a pack of tobacco. <laughs> well, it is me. <laughs> What'd you get? Ice! Ice! Beef jerky. <laughs> you got beef jerky, This man. is what Sven eats on rides. Really? He only eats, like, biltong, yeah. But why? It's just not, there's not much to it. It's salty. And it's got loads of protein and carbohydrate in it. Protein. Not any carbohydrate, no in, carbohydrate it in it at all. This is why you're bike fitting on nutritionist. Yeah, absolutely. That's one each now. What I want to do is take the cubes out of Lawrence's bike and uh, have those in spares and get Lawrence some short valve tubes. Yeah. Lawrence, I found something for you on the menu. What's that? Is it fluffy French toast? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> fluffy French toast? That sounds good. Cool. Yeah, it's basically where they make French toast and then they leave it for like a week and then it goes all fluffy. <laughs> Morale was high today, yeah? Much or this better morning. Than yesterday. It's kind of hot out there. It is hot out there. <laughs> all right, morale was high between me and Franny. Lozza is now dark. Yeah. It's, 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 wrong, it's a role reversal from yesterday yeah, where Franny and I were suicidal. <laughs> this is like some Michael Phelps diet shit. Second breakfast. So we're making some uh, last minute changes to our plan. We found a way of cutting what we think is probably 20 or 30 miles off of our route. Stay on the freeway for a bit longer. a reasonable longer, amount yeah. of elevation. Uh, but it's gonna mean maybe a, maybe 70 miles without water. So the current plan is... Carry loads of water. Carry loads of water. Um, I'm hoping that gas station sells um, gallon uh, drums. Yeah. But bear in mind it's 40 degrees, or almost. Yeah. 35, we're gonna need uh, Fair amount of liquid. Yeah. Oh, that's why. It's, I, you know, it, it only says 30 degrees, but. When you're stopped in it, it's worse. This is, this is really hot. Yeah, when we get going, it'll be right. So we've just, um, we've stopped to the gas station and, or petrol station as we call it. And we've got another, there's loads of, there's loads of like really sharp little Flip bits things. of filaments and stuff on the, on the road. The price so, you pay for going so quick on the freeway. Well, 30 miles we've got, we're going to get off the freeway, we're going to go on a state highway, which is going to be much, much quieter because there's shit on the road. So we've, <laughs> we've all, basically all got, we've, in the shop. we've bought, we've gone into the shop and bought all the water they have. <laughs> uh, if somebody finds this camera in the desert one day, um, this is James Thomas, Francis Cade, and Lawrence Carpenter for a bite ride. <laughs> Find your place inside the fold. Keep your head. Puff 
perfect space within my hope Keep them, keep them safe, the words we've told Every, every Our amendments to the route meant we didn't have to come up with this Probably can't see how steep it is on the camera, but That would have taken like an hour just to go, just to go from the bottom to here Worth breaking the law every now and then, right? Well, like there was a bike sign. Yeah, it said you are not allowed on the freeway. <laughs> Does it look comfy to you? Not really. Does I'm, it feel comfy to you? I was just copying the local. He, yeah, was, yeah. he was doing it as well, so I thought he must know. He must have had a stressful time riding his motorbike. Yeah. So we're 100 miles into the road. Yeah, we've only done, we're saying 80. We've got 60 left to go. Um, Franny, to answer your question, it's an eight mile climb up that way. That's an a hour. 14 mile descent. Okay, man, it's on you when it's. Uh... Well, you, you say that. Yeah. <laughs> 14 mile descent, you've then got a 13 mile climb. Which is like an hour and a half, almost. Yeah. So it's two and a half hours of climbing still. Close. Yeah. Well, another blankie. Oh, scratched it. Blanked. He scratched his new bike. See what I did there. It's not even his bike. Oh no. It'll buff out, mate. It won't buff out. That Denny Yarm? Yeah. Titanium. Oh no. How don't, do that? don't. Are you driving your drone and the bike at the same time? Yeah, man. There is no end to this man's skill set. Basically, towed us the whole way. Now, you're looking a bit chippo. It's a hundred degrees. So you remember um, a few months ago we, we went for that ride to Henley and back and we said that Drift Road was the longest road in the entire world. In the world. Take a look at that. So we just um, got to Kelso. Nine mile climb. We've got a nine mile climb coming up and then descent all the way into Baker. I had another puncture. It was a piece of metal which was stuck in the inner tube, not the tire, which is weird. So it's probably been working its way in. It's like what you had in, um, on the freeway. Yeah. How was that? That is the single hardest thing I've ever done. <laughs> that was harder than yesterday because of that. It's 110 degrees. Bad ass, dude. Finally found it. World's biggest thermometer. Oh, bro. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I think we got a little bit cocky and we were like, we've done 100 miles or 80 miles and it felt easy. It felt so easy. And then, and then it got hard, man. Then it got hard. I didn't film all the punches. And I didn't film the puncher he got after the punches because the patches melt when it's this hot. So now we have no inner tubes. It was 45 degrees for a lot of the day. And I'm like, I'm burning up now. I'm out the sun and I'm burning. America. <laughs> what you got? Cold, wet stuff. Warm, meaty stuff. No, that was one of the hardest things I've ever done. I think the worst part was just like the real very end of it where I had the most almighty fucking cramps. Mate, I've never seen someone um, in so much practically pain. almost cry because of cramps. <sighs> yeah. I, and I couldn't do anything. I'm sorry, no. Jeez. Um, we filled you full of electrolytes. Everything, everything cramped. Like my back was cramping, my legs were cramping, my calves were cramping, my feet were cramping. <laughs> <sighs> so I've fallen, I've, I've fallen asleep and Drank a lot of water and I feel a bit all right now, but <clears throat> that was not cool. So we've uh, had a bit of an issue regarding tomorrow's ride. So we started the trip uh, with six inner tubes and puncture repair patches. We've managed to use all of the inner tubes, probably because we were riding on the freeway. We then used one of the patches today and after about two hours of riding, uh, the patch melted and the tube exploded again. 
So now we know we can't rely on patches. Uh, we're stuck in Baker. We may have to bail, get a taxi to Las Vegas because there will definitely be a bike shop in uh, Las Vegas because there isn't anything here. World's tallest thermometer. World's tallest thermometer. First time today it's gone out under 100 degrees oh. Fahrenheit. Can we go yeah. inside an air-conditioned it, you know, diner it, now? It, it's nine o'clock, it's pitch black and it's 100 degrees still. It's not, sorry, I beg your pardon, it's 99 degrees. You're gonna have to stay outside. 